with the fragrance of the perfume. What is so shocking about this is that Mary was honoring his humanity. So how does that glorify God? I mean, people know he's human, but what about his what about his his divinity? People need to know he's God. Amen. But Mary honored his him in his humanity, honored him in his sacrifice for sin. Whoa. She poured, in fact, they say that she gave all of her future for that one moment. That that was her inheritance. And she poured, it's a, worth a year's wages. She poured it on Jesus. <coughs> Wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. <coughs> So there's something greater than raising this dead person, her brother, is, is that she revealed in here that through Christ's death to come, glory was going to come to God Amen. like no other way. Amen. What y'all? The glory was going to come to Jesus. Because through his death. See, even Lazarus was, was raised because Jesus died. Because the atonement, the death of Christ in our behalf, all things come through him. Come on, look at me. All things come to us through Christ. Our healing, physical healing. Because the way that he's glorified best is for us to put our faith in his humanity dying. Even greater than the miracles. Amen. We can believe all the miracles. We can have seen them all. But knowing that it was through the death, through the giving up of his body, completely, totally sacrificial, his perfect humanity. He was perfect. Amen. Spotless. Amen. That, that one act would reveal his glory in better than any other. By his death, we have life. Oh. By his death, through his death, we have life. Oh. We have victory through his death and his resurrection. You know, he came to Jesus, verse 20, and he said, they came to his disciples and said, we want to see Jesus. We want to see him. And Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be what? Look at it. Glorified. <gasps> the time has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. <gasps> he's, doing, he's going to his death. But the time has come for the Son of Man. Son of Man, his humanity. To be glorified. Amen. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, my servant also will be. My father will honor the one who serves me. I want us to go, verse 30, well, let's read on down, it's good. It said, now my heart is troubled, and what, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. And the crowd that was there heard it said it had thundered. Another said an angel had spoken to him. And Jesus said, This voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time. 
the judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. But I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to me. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. And I said, God, what? When you're lifted up on the cross, he said you will draw all men to yourself. That the, this gospel can go everywhere. News of your glory. News of your glory as God. News of your glory as man. Amen. Sacrifice totally Amen. for humanity can cover the earth. And I said, how? And I said, because until he died, he could not send the Holy Spirit. But when he died, he said, it's better for me to go away Amen. so that I can send the Holy Spirit. And when people come to him, they receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And they're like, they're like this clay pot. 